Hi, I'm Moira Gallagher. I'm the Vice President of Business Development at Pango Technology here in Anchorage. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the costs of cyber attacks on small business. We've seen a lot in the news about cyber attacks on very large businesses. For example, the Colonial Pipeline, where billions of dollars were being asked as part of a ransom for holding data hostage and for essentially shutting down the pipeline. We tend to think about those costs at very large scale for very large businesses, but the costs for small businesses can also be enormous. The average small business that was subject to a ransomware attack in 2018 uh, cost over $250,000 to that small business. Now, typically the ransoms are smaller. The average ransom in that case was $5,600. Most of that cost is from downtime. If your information has been stolen, if it has been encrypted, if it's being held ransom, you may be able to get it back for just a couple thousand dollars, but it may take weeks for you to actually get that data in hand, get back online, and return to full productivity. And you have to continue to think about what does that lost productivity cost to me? You may not be Colonial Pipeline and you may not be out several billion dollars in ransom, but if you're not functioning for a week or two while you try and get your systems back up and running, it could cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars and more than you're willing to part with.